have not done this in a hot minute. Uh, it feels a bit weird talking to the camera. Um, but I'm back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name's Millie and I'm a calligrapher, graphic designer and small business owner. And today I've got a studio vlog for you. I haven't done a studio vlog in a very long time. I basically took August off and I said that I'd take August off and it's now October. So it kind of took September off as well. But essentially I have been teaching an online course which has been going on for six weeks and it's taken a lot of uh, like mental capacity. There was also a lot of video editing and filming over August and it was a lot. So I just needed to step away from the camera, but I'm back and I'm back here to prepare for Christmas. So it's Sunday, Sunday the 10th of October today. And this morning I have been doing some Etsy orders, which I have received over the past week. I was actually on holiday last week, but I left my shop open, just extended the shipping time. So I had some crackers to do, greeting cards and some foil calendars. Uh, and it's been so much fun actually getting back into making products again. I haven't really done it for quite a while. So that's lots of fun. And I've decided to get a bit more creative with my packaging and branding. So I've just been experimenting with uh, this little belly band. So this is my pack of 12 Christmas cards. And I just wanted to make it a bit better packaged so when it comes in the post they're not all over the place in the box. But also I'm hoping to get some products into a local shop called Pen Gallery. And I figured I need to have my branding on them, I can't just sell random packs of cards without any information. So it just says 12 Christmas cards on the front and then it shows the designs on the back. That's because I have two packs of these. So this is the illustrative pack and then I also have a bold pack as well. So yeah, that's what I've been doing this morning. I've got a lot planned for today. I've got some baubles that I want to paint. I've got an idea for some new baubles. And it's just gonna be a bit of a Christmas prep kind of day. I'm actually popping out in about 15 minutes to go give blood. I haven't given blood in years. So I'm looking forward to giving blood again. It's just been something I've been meaning to do for a long time and then tattoos came along and piercings came along so I couldn't do it but I'm able to do it right now so I'm going to go give blood today. Before I crack on with the rest of my day I just wanted to come on and have a little chat because I haven't spoken to you guys for a very long time. Uh, I decided to take a bit of a step back with a few things. So in particular, social media, so obviously YouTube and Instagram as well, to be honest. For those of you who don't know, I do work full time. I work Monday to Friday. It's technically a nine to five job, but I work seven till 3.30. It just gives me a bigger chunk in the afternoon to work on Blink and I'm a morning person, so I don't mind getting up. But over the past few months, doing everything has just got a lot and part of the reason is because myself and my partner the bearded one are we're buying a house and that is taking up a lot of mental capacity brain capacity and i just needed to let something go for a little bit and i guess letting social media go is quite a scary thing to do but um i realised that I can't 100% rely on social media anymore. Uh, recently, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp all went down. And although I was on holidays, so it didn't really affect me at the time. It just made me really think that I can't just rely on social media. And actually taking a proper step back from socials has kind of given me a bit of clarity with my business, where I want to go. I do have an incredible mailing list with lots of lovely people on it, which is amazing. But I also want to work more with people in my local area. So I am actually getting quite involved in things like that. But I just wanted to take a step back. And I just wanted to come on here and say, if you are running a small business and you're a parent or you're also working full time or your business just takes up a lot of your time, then it's okay to prioritize things. So if you are really struggling with doing everything, it's okay to drop some things and put a priority on other areas. 
So for me, over the past few weeks, it's been so important to give my students for my online calligraphy course all my attention, and that's something that I've been doing a lot. I've also happened to have gone on holiday quite a lot lately, which has actually been really good, really refreshing. I feel ready for Christmas. But yeah, if you're really struggling and you need to take some time to chill, then that is okay. I get a lot of people contact me and they're always quite surprised that I also work full time as well as doing Blink. Um, and the more I get that, the more I'm quite aware that I probably am doing too much and maybe I need to take a step back. Um, more for my mental health, it is actually World Mental Health Day today, but I just need to look after me a little bit more, especially in the run up to Christmas, it's going to be busy and we're potentially moving house in a month. So that's going to be quite stressful, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be difficult. So essentially my plan over the next couple of months is for October to really push my Etsy shop, get lots of um, awareness out there, do a little product launch and encourage people to shop early for Christmas because I potentially won't be able to be open for the summer of November if we're moving around then, fingers crossed. So if there is anything that you like the look of in my vlog this week and you were thinking of getting it for Christmas, then please buy as soon as possible. I'll leave a link for my shop in the description below. I'm also thinking of things I can do that don't take as much time. Um, so I'm going to go and chat to someone, uh, the lovely Cora from Tosh in Boscombe, about doing some workshops around November, December time, because that doesn't require me to need things out in my office I can just pack a nice box so I'm talking about doing that and also potentially doing a couple of um, Christmas fairs markets as well as doing a personalized bauble session at a local shop here called Penn Gallery so I'm just looking at ways to be inventive about Christmas this year which doesn't require me to have a lot of stock and all of my equipment out if I can do as much preparation before having to close my shop, so I've got a lot of stock ready, then that's potentially something I'll do. I obviously have things like personalised crackers, which I can't exactly prepare in advance, but I guess I could cut things like the ribbon and stuff, but um, we'll see. It's gonna be a busy few months, but I'm excited to be back to filming, and I'm really looking forward to editing again. Although I really enjoyed creating my course for my students online, it was uh, quite similar video content, so I'm excited to do something a little bit more creative. Anyway, I think I've rambled enough for now. I think my poached eggs on toast is ready as well. So I'm gonna go and eat and then go give blood and then I will be back to chat to you later. Bye. And I'm back. Um, I was out for a little longer than initially planned. We went and got a uh, chocolate brownie for me because I felt a little bit lightheaded after giving blood. Um, I'm, I don't ever really faint um, and I didn't feel lightheaded the first time I gave blood but that was like six years ago. But yeah, they had to do some slowly putting me back up into a seated position uh, a few times. But apart from that, actually giving blood was perfectly fine. If you haven't done it for a while, then this is your reminder to go and book that in. Anyway, enough talk about that. I know some people don't really want even like the word, so sorry if that's freaked you out. I, um, what am I thinking? So I still need to pack up my Etsy orders I did this morning. However, I think what I'm going to do is paint my baubles now just because I feel like that would be a little bit more relaxing, not too strenuous for me after feeling a bit lightheaded. And then it also means it gives it time to dry. So I've got lots of paints and I'm gonna have some fun painting baubles. And then I'll do packing my Etsy orders and I've just got some final bits I need to do for my online course just for the end. I want to create a little certificate for everyone because everyone's done so well. Um, and I've got some other bits of bubbles to sort out, but uh, let's paint some baubles first because that's going to be fun. Let's go. We got time on our side, we're in a state of home. I'm 
wish I could find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile So I've done some colourful gradient baubles and then over here I've got some full colour pearlescent baubles. I absolutely love these, these are so pretty. I still need to paint the tops of them and these are definitely going to need to have a second coat. These ones, some of them have come out really nicely, like the blend on this one is beautiful but I think it's going to need to have a second coat. This one you can really see the brush strokes. Mm, and I want it to be a bit like smoother so I have ordered some what they're called sponges and I'm going to try those out tomorrow but what I'm going to do is do a second coat on all of these and see if that helps at all and I of course need to paint the tops of these as well so I am absolutely loving how colourful they are though I'm obsessed and then some metallic ones they're so pretty Okay, so I've just done a second coat of all the baubles and they are looking so much better. So I still need to do the tops, but I'm going to do that last. But the blend looks so much better now with the second coat. I'm obsessed. And then these are looking good too. They might need a third coat. And also my paintbrush pairs keep coming off. But look how cool it is. Also, I'm really proud of my little uh, bauble drying area. So I've just used my pegboard put these pegs on and then I've also put paper against the wall so I don't get paint on the wall. How cool is that? I think because of how long these take, what I'm probably going to need to do is batch paint them. When I did my baubles last year, I was just painting gold or silver or bronze at the base of the baubles. So I was just doing those made to order. But especially with moving house, I think I'm going to need to batch paint these. So I'm going to need to judge how popular all of these are. I don't think I'll paint all of the baubles I have, but I might do like maybe three or four of each colour. And then after that I can kind of judge and see how popular they are. But um, yeah, I'm just going to show a little sneak peek on Instagram. I'm really excited. And then I need to get on with some Avenue bits while this dries. So I'm back at my desk now to do a bit of have mini bits but before I do I just grabbed my purse because um, Emily Harvey Art has just done a huge shop launch and some of it includes some small business stationery which I thought would be really fun for just getting a bit more organized over the next few months and because it's small business stuff I can expense that on my business account so got my card and I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping oh my god her website looks so nice since she's done her branding how nice is this website everything feels so cohesive since she's had her new branding done I absolutely love it thing that I'm mainly interested in is stationery so this is the content planner and then also the business planner which I think will be pretty good and I like these little orders here that's quite cute oh I can do PayPal amazing didn't even need my purse right little bit of shopping now done and I've got some admin -y bits that I need to sort out so it's roast dinner time at 6 and it's currently 5 30 so I'm gonna put my phone in another room so I don't get distracted and I'm gonna crack on and get all of these little Emily bits done and then I need to pack up the orders I did this morning <laughs> So before work, I packed up some Etsy orders, which you would have seen. I've been painting some more baubles too. So I'm doing a purple to a pink, and then I had two that were 
didn't look good because I used a different paint and it didn't go down well. So I've just painted those white so I can redo them. And I think I might do a yellow to a turquoise. Basically, uh, last night I had a raw dinner and then I was gonna finish off the little bits that I'm, said I'm doing tonight now. But I felt like really tired. I think part of that was from giving a pint of my blood away. And I figured rather than just try push through it and do some work to just chill out it's something that i'm learning a lot this year is to listen to my body so if i'm having a day where i'm just not in the mood i'm just listening to that and not doing the work and i think that's made me more productive when i am in the mood and it's made me enjoy more of what i'm doing again rather than just feeling like a chore so yeah, I think it's really important to listen to your body and just accept when you need to chill out. So I've got a bit of catching up this evening because of stuff I didn't do last night, but that's okay. I've only set my own deadlines. Hi guys, so it's still the same day, it's Monday evening. I have done a little bit of admin after packing up those crackers. I've had some dinner, just sat on the sofa and chilled for that. And I'm now in comfy clothes, as you can see, and I've decided I'm gonna rearrange this room a little bit because it's been frustrating me for a little while and I think I just need to do it now. Let me talk you through this so I can make sense of what I'm trying to do. Okay, so this is how it's looking at the moment. I've got the my back to the door as you come in and I've got my packing table here, which is currently covered in bauble stuff. And then I've got my desk here, so I sit over here and I really like it. it, means I can look out the window, I can look at all of my packing stuff, and also it was really good for filming, especially filming my course, because I could have my camera here, and then a cute background, and I can also film above. So it's been great for that. However, doing those cracker orders made me realize that this room isn't laid out in a good way. So at Christmas last year, I was doing so many different cracker orders, and I'd have like them all over the floor to dry, for the ink to dry. And this layout with the floor space going around like this just isn't gonna work. You can see it's a mess as well, by the way. Please, please don't judge me. But yeah, this is just not working at all. It was great for filming, but as like running a shop, I don't think it's gonna work. Also, if I'm printing stuff off, I'll be over here and then I have to run all the way around, come around here and then go over there. Whereas I could just be like, Boof, boof. I have two ideas. One idea is to take my desk, turn it around and put it against the window. And then the other idea is to put my desk here. But there's obviously a radiator there. Um, and I can't, f I don't think I can fit it in this space. I think it's too big for that space. So I need to consider the radiator. But then also I need my computer near my Silhouette machine and my label printer because they both need to be plugged in. Silhouette can technically Bluetooth, but it's really temperamental and I don't know how to make that wireless. It's really complex. It would make sense to have it by the window. <laughs> So this is what it's looking like so far. I've got my desk here, I've put my Alex drawers here. I need to find a home for this, and I'm thinking of trying to slot it into that gap there. But for me to do that, it means I need to switch these two printers around. And then I also need to put this printer down a bit, and then hopefully I can still get paper in and out. Obviously one weird thing about this desk is now there's some shelves that I can't access, but to be honest, a lot of that is like magazines I don't really want to get rid of, so uh, Simply Lettering Mag, which I was in for quite a lot of issues actually, I think I was in like 10 or 11. So I'm keeping that for memories, and then I've also got like admin things, and there is some pens there, but I can still access them, I'll just have to go under the desk. But actually, what it's done is meant that I'm actually much closer to all of these pens. Okay, I've put those drawers in, but I think this feels a bit random now, so now I'm wondering where I put these drawers 
next to the desk. Alex draws over and then these drawers go over here. So this is the view from the door now. So my desk stuck out like this before, but now it's against the wall. These sets of drawers were against the wall on the other side of my desk before, but now they're there. And my Alex drawers were like up against the side of my desk. And then I got these drawers. I think this setup looks so much better than having those drawers over there. Got my piece lily up here, my little palm here, and then I've just got way more space and it's just easier to access this whole area. And I'm just really happy. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. It is Tuesday today and I got something exciting in the post. This is some vinyl, white vinyl, black vinyl, matte vinyl and some application tape. So this arrived today. I have had my silhouette machine for over a year now and I've never actually cut vinyl on it. I've cut stickers on it but I haven't cut vinyl and I've got an idea for, I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but I was thinking it might be quite cool to do branded baubles. So cutting my logo out of vinyl and then sticking it onto one of my painted baubles. So I've got a fully turquoise bauble ready to go and I just need to cut out the vinyl. So I'm gonna do that first. I don't have too much time to do any work today because I do have some friends coming over later for dinner, but I do have a commission that I really need to get done. So once I've cut this vinyl out, I am going to do a commission. It's for Windsor and Newton, which is really exciting. They got in contact with me the other day, actually. Um, I use their inks for my calligraphy crackers. Um, and they are essentially nearly at 500,000 followers on their Instagram account, which is insane. And they were looking for a way to celebrate and they've asked me to create a video post for them, which is really cool really fun little job and they really like my like blended watercolour style so I'm using some of their bright coloured inks and paint brushes and Bristol paper and I am going to film that and I think I'll be able to conclude that in this vlog because I'm pretty sure they're hoping to put the post out towards the end of this week so I will film some behind the scenes for that as well yay <laughs>
finished filming and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. My friends are popping over in a second now, so I am gonna go and have some fun and socialise. Okay, it's um, definitely bedtime, my friends have just left. But uh, before I went to bed, I just thought I'd give it a go, trying to put the vinyl back on this bauble. Basically, when I tried earlier, I think the paint was still wet, so it was not sticking. And I was like, screw it. I'm just going to quickly have a go before I go to bed. And look! It looks so good. Apart from the fact that it's completely and utterly wonky, I was just so focused on getting it to actually stick to the bauble that I didn't actually look at the position of it. But a branded bauble, how cute is that? I love it. I'm going to redo this tomorrow so it's not wonky and then I'm going to put it out to my audience to see what they think. But I'm a little bit obsessed. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you soon. Hi guys, it's Thursday today, the 14th of October. How is it already halfway through October? It's going so quickly. Um, I don't think I actually vlogged anything yesterday, but basically I went to a local venue to meet to discuss doing a Christmas workshop, which I'm super excited about. I will be announcing that very soon. So if you're in Bournemouth, Dorset area, and you wanna come do a workshop with me, then that'll be happening soon. Last night was spent being adult and going through all of the paperwork from our solicitors, basically. So, very exciting evening. On my lunch break today, I photographed my baubles that they don't have calligraphy on, they're just colourful. Because um, uh, I just wanted to photograph what the colours are without any text. I've decided to do some sort of like, it's like a, I've called it a bauble display sale. But essentially, I want names for the baubles, but I just don't want to do random names and the baubles never get used. So I'm offering the baubles at a cheaper rate because I'll be manhandling them and photographing them. And some of them also have like little tinkly things in which they shouldn't have in. So they are uh, going at a reduced rate and I'm doing that on Instagram tonight in 20 minutes. So I split it into gradient baubles and then pearl ones and basically, basically the post will end up looking like this and then people can just claim on there and they'll pay through PayPal. And I just figured that was an easy way to sell these baubles basically. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as two I didn't really do any work yesterday, um, had a nice time going out last night, which was fun. Uh, and then this morning I woke up stupidly early before my alarm standard on a weekend. So I got up and I edited most of this vlog and went for a run. And then you would have seen me doing some baubles. I'm so happy with how these look, especially with the gold. They look so pretty. So this is for one of the baubles from the bauble sale that I did. Um, not gonna lie, that didn't go to plan really. I was hoping that um, 
all the baubles would sell because I was selling them basically at half price but um, I only sold three of them out of I think it was like 10 or 11 um, and all three had gone to one person so basically one person took part in that sale um, which is maybe a bit nervous about actually launching these baubles because if people don't want to buy them at half price then are people going to want to buy them at full price? I don't know, I need to have a think about what to do. I'm, I'm definitely going to launch them because I've got a load of baubles and I need to do something with them. But in my head I was like, oh well, I'll pre-paint a few baubles so I'm not stressed when I launch. But I now don't know how many to pre-paint or whether to even do that. I mean, any I pre-paint and don't sell I can pop into Pen Gallery, which is a local shop. But um, yeah also obsessed with this one so cute and then uh the last one i have spelt the second name wrong so i'm going to have to paint over this and start again which is annoying but um i think that just highlighted to me that i was trying to do too many things this morning being a bit of rush i wanted to do some of the bauble writing um so i could potentially photograph them but i'm not gonna have time because I am going away this evening for a friend's birthday, so I've actually got to leave in like five minutes. So I'm just going to leave those baubles. Part of the reason I always did baubles is because I've made one for my friend for her birthday. Um, so that one did turn out good, and it's pretty. So I'm just popping on to basically sign off this vlog. It's being nice to get back into a studio vlog. And it was actually really fun editing it this morning as well. I had lots of fun like editing to the music and yeah, I really enjoyed that. I hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog and I will be launching these baubles next week. So if so if you enjoyed these baubles, let me know which is your favourite colour or like if you prefer pearlescent or gradient ones. I absolutely love this one. This one is probably one of my favourites. But also this one too, because it's brand colours. I'm obsessed with that. But yeah, and if you got this far, leave me a little rainbow in the comments as well, because I'm trying to bring a little bit more colour to my products and my business. So hopefully that's evident with these baubles. Um, but yeah, I'm going to launch them next week. Haven't picked a date yet. We'll figure that out. My battery is about to die. Excellent. Um... I will see you very soon for another studio vlog or video or some sort. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.